Right, for part B, we're approximating the average temperature in degrees Celsius of the water over the time from t equals 0 to t equals 15. Um, by using a trapezoidal approximation with subintervals of equal length three days. So it's always nicer when you have the same uh, length subintervals. But here we're using a trapezoidal sum. And we're using the average temperature. So this is a key, average temperature. So this is a formula you'll see on your quiz on Wednesday. Average value of F. I usually approximate it like this, F, A, V. Average value of F. Anybody remember what that is? 1 over B minus A times definite integral from A to B of F of X dx. All right. That is a key one. You're guaranteed to see that on the AP test somewhere, whether it's for your response or multiple choice. That's the average value of a function. Now, a lot of people get that mixed up with the formula we used over here, which was the average rate of change. Right? This is the rate of change. This is the average value of a function. Here we're trying to find the average temperature, and we are dealing with that function up here. Um, so it's important to keep those two straight. But this is what we're trying to figure out. This integral here is what we're approximating using the trapezoidal sum. And if you remember, that's another formula. Trapezoidal sum, if you remember the formula, it makes it a lot easier. If you don't remember the formula, you can always plot this data on a table and figure it out geometrically. So let's look at doing it in a, in a table format or drawing it first. And then I'll show the formula and maybe how it's a little bit simpler. Um, so I'm going to sketch a graph here. And we're going from 0 to 15 in increments of, oops, of 3. And our values on the y-axis vary from 20 to 31. So we've got 21 on there, 21, I'm sorry, 20, 21. 22, 24, 28, and 31. Obviously, it doesn't need to be a scale. This is just to kind of help us organize all this information. So if we plot these points on the graph, um, <clears throat> at 0, the temperature is 20 degrees. At 3, it's 31. At 6, it's 28. 9 is 24. 12 is 22, and 15 is 21. So you see it kind of skyrockets and then declines there. So we don't need to look at the actual curve. What we're trying to do is, you know, there's some curve that goes through all those points. We're just trying to approximate what the area in that curve would be using trapezoids. So at each point, if we draw straight down, we're breaking it up into those intervals of three. And now if we connect the dots, as they go like this, we're creating our trapezoids that we're going to use to approximate that area. So since we're doing the average value, we're going to have 1 over 15 minus 0 times the definite integral from 0 to 15 of f of x dx. So we're going to have a 1 over 15 out in front. And then this area under the curve we're approximating with these five trapezoids. So for our first trapezoid, we have 1 half times base 1, which would be 20, plus base 2, which is 31, times the height, and the height is always going to be 3. So that's our first trapezoid. Then the next one, we have 1 half times 31 plus 28 times 3, plus 1 half times 28 plus 24, times 3, that's our third trapezoid, plus 1 half times 24 plus 22 times 3, plus 1 half times 22 plus 21 times 3. Now, we did that from the graph. If we use the trapezoidal sum formula, we're just kind of basically taking what we have here and factoring it. What do you see that's the same in every one of those expressions in here. 
there's a one half, so I'm going to pull that one half out. And what else is the same in every one? The three. So we have the one half and the height. We can pull that out. And then what you should notice is that we've got this 20 that only happens once, but then 20 or sorry, 31 occurs twice, 28 occurs twice, 24 occurs twice, 22 occurs twice, and then 21 occurs just one time. So this is where the formula comes from. We have that first one, our first value, so the first value from the table only gets used once, plus 2 times the next value, 2 times the 31, plus 2 times the 28, plus 2 times the 24, plus 2 times 22, plus 21 only gets used once. So those n values, the a and the b, right, these values that we get when we put those in, there's only one of those, and two of everything else, right? Because this is used for this trapezoid and this one. So this is kind of a quick, easy way to set it up without having to graph it and like figure it out the long way, and it's just easier to punch into your calculator. All right, so if we go ahead and work all that out, we end up getting what's that? Um, Twenty-five point one degrees Celsius. So that's our average temperature over that time period. Approximate. Uh, we approximated that using the, re the trapezoidal sum. That's our approximate average area or average temperature over that time.